welcome and good morning in next session we will see circuit simulation of controlled full wave rectifier before we have seen controlled off wave rectifier in which the output was half of the input in full wave rectifier the output will be equal to input to simulate the circuit now let us go and get the component the components you require are scope pulse generator pulse generator is located in simulink sources pulse generator is located in simulink sources add to it go to simscape sim power system specialized technology fundamental blocks sources you need ac voltage source You need four thyristors. And current machine. Finally, you need load. Now let us arrange the compounds. Now connect, we are having 4 thyristors, these 2 thyristors will, con will, con will connect the load to the AC source during positive cycle and these 2 thyristors will connect the load to the source during negative cycle. Now let us connect, connect anode to cathode, anode to cathode, next connect the positive of AC source to this thyristor negative of the AC source to next leg then connect KK here AA and from here to current measurement As we need two voltage measurement, copy it and connect it across the rectifier. Change the number of inputs from one to three. And next, connect the sources. Next, let us assign the value. Assign the value of AC source as 230. We can assign any value of our wish. Next, connect the pulse generator. Pulse generator to first getting pulse of thyristor. 
to second getting pulse, third getting pulse, and fourth. Change the amplitude of the waveform to 10. Change the time period to 0 0.01. And change the pulse width to 10. And change the phase delay to 0 0.00. Next, assign the value of R200. Now, all the parameters are configured. Now, let us simulate the circuit. Now, you can see that the firing angle was given as 0 0.025 and this is a full way rectifier you can see that you are receiving the output for both positive cycle and during negative cycle and hence it is called as a full wave rectifier it is called as a controlled rectifier because i can control the amount of power delivered from input to the door by changing the firing angle if i change the firing angle from previous value to 0 0.004 and if I simulate the circuit you can see that now, now the output has reduced now the power delivered from the source to the load is controlled and hence it is called as controlled rectifier but in the case of diode I cannot have any control over the positive cycle the entire positive cycle will be delivered from source to the load. Here, because of by changing the firing angle, the output can be controlled. Okay, now let us go and change the value to 0 and apply. Now you can see that the whole input it appears on the output. This is the reason why it is called as Controlled full wave rectifier. Thank you.